What's up guys, Kid Calvin back with another video and today we're going to be talking about the future of light and subclasses and maybe Lightfall is more than just a working title. In an interview with Polygon, Luke Smith confirmed that we're going to be getting three darkness based subclasses in total, which is great. I mean, we kind of already figured that, but it's cool that they, you know, said three in total. It matches our three light subclasses. That's cool. I'm 100% behind that. Hopefully they're cool and not like completely overpowered how Stasis was, um, but you know, that's only time's going to tell with that one, to be honest. Uh, further on in that same article though, it was confirmed that over the next few seasons we're going to be getting more aspects and fragments for our Stasis subclasses, or subclass, I guess, uh, which is cool. We're going to get more customization, there's going to be more flexibility, we won't be locked into the two fragments we have now. I believe each class only has two fragments and six aspects I believe uh, I haven't gotten all of them I haven't grinded it out all of them on my warlock I believe yeah I haven't grinded all of them out on my warlock I have all of them on my hunter but I mean that's my hunter so yeah um, but one sentence in the article which kind of bummed me out is Luke Smith said that this system isn't just meant to differentiate the light and dark subclasses which in my eyes i could be reading too far into it but basically that means light is not getting the aspect and fragment system it's going to be getting something else hopefully because in another article it was stated that they're going to be stripping back the light subclasses or condensing them down into one super each so that means we'll be losing one super and only having one. So Dawnblade might go away. Well, the Radiance might go away. We might just be stuck with Dawnblade. Um, for our Hunters, we might just be stuck with Shadow Shot. Apparently, they're using the metrics from raids and PvE content, which I just, I don't know. I just don't know. It's like, it's like a kick in the nuts for the PvP community. Like, being 100% honest, as someone who only plays PvP, that that's it it's just pvp is not gonna be a light based activity anymore right if you're not using stasis now you're pretty much losing your bat your, your duels anyways in pvp because you're gonna get frozen there's no actual or efficient way to counter it quite yet what would have been cool is if they would have kept the aspects and fragment system and put it on the light based subclasses but also change them to react with stasis a little bit more uniquely so for instance solar you got shorter freeze durations or you were immune to freezing yeah everyone would have used it but with void maybe you would have had the ability to I don't know phase through the stasis or something I'm just kind of making this up off the top of my head because I don't really know how void would react with uh, ice so you know yeah but it would have been cool to see them kind of take that direction. Instead, they're stripping back the light subclasses, which is going to make them even more completely underpowered compared to stasis. In my personal opinion, I don't see this being a good thing at all for the power fantasy in Destiny 2. Hopefully they can prove me wrong. Honestly, I would love to see them prove me wrong. But as we saw with stasis, I'm, I, I pretty much called stasis as being the most broken thing in crucible i knew they were going to overdo overdo it with the freeze durations i knew they were going to overdo it with the slowdowns right the shatter stuff was going to be a hot mess in fact there was almost a suit a buff to chromatic fire but it turned out to be a bug chromatic fire when used with stasis would proc and do shatter jam shatter damage which if you know from the warlock stasis subclass there was a fragment that gave you the stasis tracking crystals when you got shatter damage which would have been completely broken with chromatic fire because it did shatter damage osmosis also procced but it didn't seem to do anything too special it was just a damage type so that wasn't too bad i'm not really sure why they took that off but yeah guys it seems like darkness subclasses and stasis is pretty much the way of the future uh, light has <laughs> almost taken a complete backseat at this point and it doesn't look like it's getting any better in the future so hopefully 
I'm completely wrong about this and they bring out a system. Maybe they bring back the old node system and update it somehow to give us more customization on the light subclasses with only one super. That would be pretty interesting to see. But until then, my name is Kit Callen. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I make build videos most of the time. I don't really do these kind of like talking head videos, but I saw this article this morning and was like, what are they doing? This pretty much nullified one of my builds actually for future expansions because they took out the super that I was using. Anyways, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Catch you in the next one. Thank you.